What's up guys, just want to do a really quick video on the 2020 MT-10. Uh, not going to be a riding video this week, as you can see. This is going to be my weather for the next week or so. Pouring rain, thunder and lightning. Um, it's already been raining for two, three, four days straight now, off and on. Plus, you know, I'm at work, so I haven't been able to ride. So I figured I'd just do a quick walk around video. Uh, not really walk around, but I, uh, it was one new update on the bike that I wanted to show, so I figured I'd do that. I'm trying to put out a video every Monday right now, uh, and then my next one was going to be a little comparison video on the Super Duke, the 1290 Super Duke, compared to this. Um, I'm not sure if you guys have watched my older videos, but I've actually owned two brand new Super Dukes, a 15 and a 16. Actually, they uh, I can't remember. They may have both been 15s. But anyways, I got I had an orange one first that I decked out pretty good. Did the Austin Racing exhaust on. I actually went through two Austin Racing exhausts on that one. And then uh, my black one, I ended up selling that one pretty quick because my dealership uh, went out of business or didn't go to business. They stopped selling KTM. Anyways, I'll explain it another time when I um, um, do a ride-in video and a little bit more of a comparison to these bikes, uh, to th uh, those bikes compared to this one. So, And I may do that a little bit more often. I don't know how you guys feel about those videos, but um, I've had a lot of bikes, so I've got a lot of bikes to uh, compare to. And I've got, I've got obviously some some one, some of my favorite bikes, but as of right now, I will say this is my absolute 100% most favorite bike that I've owned to date. And maybe in a video or that same video that I do next, I'll kind of explain why I think that is. This is, again, just my opinion, but I've owned a lot of bikes. I've rode a lot of bikes, uh, so we'll see. So anyways, what I wanted to show you guys was the new RNG boot guards. Those just came in. Um, a couple of things I need to work on next is getting these ho holes filled. There's a guy that makes them on one of the forums, and then, you know, RNG obviously makes them, but they're ridiculous. I think they want like 30, 40, 50 bucks. I can't even remember now. A, a piece per hole, which is insane. So I just don't know that I see myself paying that much for those, although it would tie everything into the RNG tank um, grips, boot guards, and then those plugs. Maybe it'll look nice. Maybe it'll be overdone looking. I'd rather just get some plain flat black um, looking plugs for the frame. So, so far so good. You know, I do wear boots when I ride. Uh, they're more like a, uh, you know, half boot shoe. Um, Alpine Star. I can't remember the name of those. But uh, they're a really nice boot slash shoe. Very, very comfortable. You can actually walk around in them. So I just didn't want to end up scuffing this up, you know, uh, the frame there. I just think it looks kind of cool. The only thing is here, these corners right there, same on the other side, kind of hanging up, not hang up, kind of not laying down. I think it's just that angle right there that it's catching. It just lifts up and it's just not sticking. Maybe after a few more rides, I heat them up and, and I did everything, you know, according to the directions that I need to. These have stayed down fantastic, actually much better than that snakeskin stuff that I used to use on all my bikes. Um, these are actually quite nice. So they, they've held up really well so far. I think I've got, oh gosh, 13, 1400 miles on the bike now. I, Try to ride almost every single day, although it'd be maybe, you know, for only an hour, 45 minutes, but I try to get out on the bike every day, except for when we have this crap weather like we've got going right now. So, uh, one more thing I'll probably end up doing eventually is this gas cap. I actually have an R1 gas cap that should fit identically. I was thinking about just, I don't know, powder coating it, so, and then when that's done, put it on here. That way it could have the lock, because everything aftermarket doesn't seem to lock, but I don't know. There's some pretty sporty looking gas caps out there that I may do, so we'll see. But, um, alright guys, 
I know it's just a quick video. I'd rather do a little bit of riding video. Actually, I'd rather be riding in general, but um, I think this weather is going to be, you know, acting up like this for at least another week. We're getting into summer into Southwest Florida, so it's going to be a lot of days like this, and it happens to rain every day, pretty much after work. So that's the time I like to ride because it gets pretty hot. Um, but we'll see. Hopefully this clears up soon and uh, I can get out there riding again and start doing some videos, like I said. So, uh, you know, subscribe, like, comment. Let me know if you guys have any ideas for videos that you'd like me to do. Like I said, I've had quite a few, quite a few bikes now and um, I can do some comparison. I've had Ducatis, the Hyper Motard. I've had a lot of the naked bikes and I've had multiples of other bikes. I've had four MT09s. I've had three R1s, all brand new, all within a few years of each other. I'm weird. I fix them up. I or fix them up. I hook them up with all sorts of stuff. I get bored with it, get another bike, and then I miss the old one. So I end up getting it again. And I've made that mistake multiple times, obviously. So, all right, guys, let me cut it off here. And hopefully by next week, I will get a riding video going. See ya.